The drive to London is not exactly noteworthy. Farmland, a few factories, but mostly just the highway road. But this story goes a little bit further than London, to the small town of Kamoka, where the history shines just as bright. Kamoka is a small town west of London nestled in the Middlesex Center. Home to some great names, Andy McDonald, Joel Thornton, Jeff Carter, Boone Jenner, Bull Horvat. The names just keep rolling out of this small town. And the latest of them is the Bulldogs' own Jake Murray. My dad was always a, a huge hockey guy. Uh, played all of his whole life. He still plays to this day. And um, I guess he just got me started in minor hockey in West London. I started off Tyke and then just kind of fell in love with it. And then sooner than later, I was playing AAA uh, for the Elgin Middlesex Chiefs and played eight years there and uh, never looked back. Jake etched out quite a career on the Elgin Middlesex Chiefs, netting 23 goals and 51 points in his final year. Jake established himself as the highest scoring player in the Alliance Hockey League, but there would be a major obstacle in the way. My, when I was 15 and 16, I started having like a... Uh, I was congested and my ear felt full and I was just wasn't feeling right. Eventually I found out that I had uh, a tumor in the back of my nose that had to be dealt with and as soon as we found out we got after it. However, like Steel City, Jake was too strong to stop. In 2016, Jake was drafted in the fourth round, 81st overall by the Hamilton Bulldogs, where his reputation preceded him. Jake was a a really good player growing up and he was with the London organization at the time and my son was in Little Caesars. So I've known him since he was, like watched the play since he was around 10 years old, 12, and uh, he sticks over right away. I go, this, this kid's a good player. So and then when we were at select tournaments and so forth, I would see him and I knew the name and then I heard the story and I'm like, wow, and then it's now he's, now he's here with us. Not only was he known for his skills on the ice, but his character off the ice was what drew the Bulldogs attention. Jake's a special young man and uh, a real, real good talent on the ice, but even, even a better person off the ice. I mean, we, we understand all the struggles that he's been through, but he's a determined young man and uh, he's a great teammate and our guys love him. We love him as well. He's just, uh, you know, he's, he's one of those kids that uh, players gravitate towards. He's a, he's a kind kid, but he's also a competitive athlete and uh, we're, we're really happy to have him. And if you ask his family or his coaches, there's one word you'll hear more often than any other, toughness. The, the mental toughness, um, uh, one, is going through the adversity of, of what he went through, and then two, the adversity of, of being a rookie in this league, and, and at times maybe being in the lineup, and it's very difficult for a young man to have to go through. But the toughness, the mental toughness is what's gonna carry him past all that. It's true that Jake has faced adversity, but what makes Jake a true hockey player is his passion and determination. He does not stay down. Because Jake wasn't just born with a natural hockey brain and leadership qualities, it was acquired of passion. Passion is something you can see, and in Jake's case, you don't have to look twice. So his mother called me Tuesday morning, and we were starting playoffs Friday night, and she said to me, um, she told me what had happened. Obviously, it was very upsetting. She says, by the way, he, he wants to play, He's going to try to play, but he's got to have the wisdom teeth removed in two days because it kind of went along with the chemotherapy. And he played. He played through it that Saturday night. And, you know, three or four days after getting all four wisdom teeth removed, which is not an easy surgery in itself, and then to come back and play and play well for us, even though it was just that one game, he did come back. And I mean, he scored two goals. He was on, he was on the bench, physically ill, um, trying to battle through it. Um, again, you know, you gotta be, you got to be pretty tough physically and mentally to do that. Jake won't deny his experience has changed him, but it's also made him stronger. Obviously, anytime you and your family members go through something like that, it's going to leave an, a, a lasting impact on you, and you take certain things away. You try and take the positives, most importantly. I know I took away what it means to be mentally tough and look at the bright side of things, look at the big picture, and now I see myself as I'm a lot happier. I mean, I don't stress over little things I may have used to. Um, I don't believe in being sad anymore. I know that sounds cliche, but I try not to be sad because what's there to be sad about now? Just being mentally tough and knowing that I'm going to get through whatever is brought towards me or I have to deal with. Jake never faltered, never broke or gave up. Jake's love for hockey, his perseverance, the grit that is so ingrained in this young man has made him an inspiration for his teammates and family.